everybody, I'm going to be updating my favourite natural and vegan foundation video because I did one a while ago and yeah it was a long time ago and I think my top five favourites have kind of changed. I mean really I've got two favourites and some others I just wanted to show you but yeah I really hope this helps. Um, I just want to give a kind of a disclaimer overall like if you're new to green makeup or more natural makeup uh, I think going into it you kind of have to acknowledge that because most green beauty brands they create foundations or skin products that let your skin breathe they tend not to last as long on the skin in my opinion they don't last as long on the skin as traditional foundations now it's kind of like a trade-off so either you want a traditional foundation that's going to last all day or you want a more natural foundation that maybe won't last quite as long quite as well but then maybe the ingredients are more nourishing um, more eco-friendly and so on and so forth so yeah all of these are vegan and cruelty free and I'm gonna get cracking with my top two suggestions so um, the first one is the Aero Paris oat milk foundation I'm sure you saw this coming uh, I love this foundation and I know a lot of other people a lot of other green beauty bloggers really enjoy this one as well I've got mine in the shade honey and I do have a whole video reviewing this and demoing it so if you want to see this one being applied I will link it um, this one I recommend it it's quite a thick liquid obviously that's why it's in a squeezy tube and it gives a lovely dewy finish if you have oily skin you definitely definitely have to set it if you have normal skin I think it worked for you I think if you have dry skin or drier skin I feel like this it's difficult to tell because obviously I've got normal skin so it's difficult to say if it would work or not if it would cling to dry patches on me this doesn't tend to cling to dry patches too badly at all it retails for £32 so actually for a green beauty foundation it's pretty affordable the price point of the, all of these is quite high this one's the most affordable of the lot the only downside of this is that because it does have that very glowy dewy finish it seems to not really set so it kind of it almost sits on the skin depending on how much you put on it it you can work it into the skin if you put a tiny 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 amount and then it, it seems to set a bit but if you want it to be a full full coverage sometimes I find it kind of sits a little bit on the skin so if I brush my cheek with my hand say or like with some clothes it will start to come off a tiny bit so yeah because it doesn't set obviously you have that problem with foundations that don't set similar to the hourglass like foundation stick I have that problem as well but I still think it gives a lovely finish and yeah I love this one a great option for a beginner a great option for a um, an expert in the green beauty blogger world field, you know what I mean. But if you do want something that does set, then I recommend the Nui Berlin Natural Liquid Foundation. Now, I've got mine in the wrong shade, I definitely need the lighter shade. This one I think comes in like five or six shades, and this one comes in a similar amount actually, I think maybe seven shades. An overarching problem in green beauty is that the shade range is absolutely piss poor. Like it is, you think that normal mainstream beauty brands that do it badly, just wait till you get on <laughs> onto green beauty brands. Like the darkest shade in this is called Wearer or Weera, um, and it's it's a medium. It's just a medium, which sucks because I think this formula is really really good, and I think everybody should be able to use green makeup should they choose. So yeah, colour shade range over all of these is not amazing, but um, the formula of this is great in that it sets, it gives this beautiful soft focus finish, it is a liquid foundation so it's more liquidy than the Aero Paris foundation, um, but yeah it sets on the skin and you don't really need, you can set it with a powder as well if you want to, but if you're in a rush and if you if you just are the kind of person that you don't really care that much about foundation you can apply this with your fingers it looks fine um, it sets to give a really nice soft velvety kind of finish and um, the first ingredient in this is aloe vera aloe vera leaf juice so that's really cool as well I think the ingredients are nice and nourishing I think it lasts pretty well on the skin this shade number two I've got Matao, Mateo. Uh, this is too dark. For, it's not even that it's too dark for me. It's just quite pink. Whereas I feel like the lighter shade is more of a yellowy undertone. But um, apart from the shade range, I love that it comes in a glass bottle. I love the little pump. I love the application of the product. I think it lasts well throughout the day, and you can build it up to be like a medium finish. I would say. Uh, but I really really enjoy this one, I enjoy both of these and I would recommend both of them. Uh, moving on to other foundations that I, I like or maybe I don't like, we'll see, I've got four here just to show you. So this one is the lightest coverage of the lot, this is actually a tinted moisturiser. This is by the brand Sun Integrity, so I think you could probably get this more easily in the US, but um, if you are UK based you can get this on, on Free People, that's where I got mine and it was £40 so it's not cheap, none of these are cheap, but yeah, £40, and this is a 5-in-1 natural moisturising face sunscreen, but it does have a tint to it. It's light coverage, it's not going to cover any spots or anything, but it is going to even out your skin tone. It feels lovely. For an SPF that's a mineral SPF, it's got zinc oxide 20, at 20%. It's not greasy at all, it doesn't feel like, so like the ultra sun mineral sunscreen, that feels like sun cream, you know what I mean? That kind of like lotion-y 
cream feel whereas this is definitely a tinted moisturizer it's moisturizing it's nice and light it doesn't dry my skin out okay my memory card ran out of space so if the camera angles change and lighting's change that would be why but i was talking about the sun integrity tinted moisturizer again same as the nui foundation the first ingredient is aloe vera leaf juice so it is a very soothing i say it's non-greasy feels hydrating because some spfs over time can feel quite drying but i would say this feels nice and hydrating and also if you wanted the benefits of this like the spf the you know nourishing ingredients but you wanted a bit more coverage you could always pair it with a mineral foundation and kind of set your makeup with a mineral foundation so it's going to give you a bit a little bit more coverage and set everything down you might need to use a powder on top of the mineral foundation because if you're oily you a mineral foundation isn't necessarily to keep oils at bay it's to give you coverage most of the time so this is the alima pure satin matte foundation in the shade warm too and i love the formula of this it never looks powdery for a powder it never looks powdery and it blends out really nicely it's definitely a satin matte finish like it it's not dewy or anything but it it looks like skin you know it's very very natural but the coverage is pretty good i just don't think on its own i don't think it's enough coverage but maybe paired with a tinted moisturizer it might work for you if you're after something that looks very natural and is very natural in terms of the ingredient i'm not a mineral foundation fan in general but i do use this on top of my regular foundation to set it or just to add a little bit more coverage like underneath my eyes also warm too is quite a yellowy shade so it does kind of help underneath my eyes to get rid of the blueiness but yeah just so you know it's not an exact color match for my skin at the moment is i would go for one of the lighter shades if you're similar sort of skin color to me and then last but not least i wanted to just throw in some other ones that i've tried so those are my main recommendations in terms of foundations but I thought I'd give these a quick mention and just run through them really quickly. So first up, the Juice Beauty Vitae Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. This one is £49, I think, or £42, around the 40-something mark. Um, quite expensive. I've got mine in the shade Buff, and it's a good match for my skin. It's very, very pale. If it's summer, I can't wear this shade because it's yeah it's quite a good match for my skin doesn't oxidize it is a serum consistency like this is the runniest foundation i've ever tried it is definitely a light coverage but it feels lovely on the skin i don't find it clings to dry patches i think if you've got maybe mature dehydrated skin this might work for you because it just it evens the skin out nicely but it's definitely nourishing also you don't need too much like this i mean i'm down to about there with this but this actually leaked in my bag quite, this is quite old this probably passed its um use by date but oh well <laughs> this leaked in my bag when i was coming back from uni because it was like on its side so packaging mm, comes in a glass bottle which is nice but maybe i just didn't put the lid on properly uh but yeah it's still it's lasted me forever so i i it went down to, it went from there it was probably like there down to that <laughs> and it's lasted me ages and I, I, yeah i think it's a nice foundation not heavy it's not like a creamy foundation it's definitely a watery runny kind of formula so if you want something very lightweight i do really like that one and then the other ones i've got here also another runny one this is by avril le fond de teint a french brand i've actually got a whole video on avril so i won't go into too much detail on this but this is the shade beige and i don't love it i like it for summer but it's not buildable at all like it's very very light coverage also that's quite a strong scent which i'm not a huge fan of but um if you want something for a holiday oh i didn't say the the scent of this one this one smells like vanilla but some people i've read some reviews this is the nui foundation i've read some reviews people really don't like the scent but i think it just smells like vanilla it's not very strong at all it honestly it's not a very offensive smell i don't think i think it's fine but some people have said they've had to just stop using it because they can't stand the smell so disclaimer you might not like the smell of this one but i don't mind it at all um yeah this is fine but yeah back to the avril foundation i like this but sometimes it can kind of ball up and that's something i find with natural foundations if you if it's like a serum-y kind of consistency you can't build up a lot of those kind of foundations because they're, they're just too liquidy in that they kind of if you try and build up the the pigment part of it will just kind of ball up and it will just crumble and just look rubbish so i like this for summer but it's not like my go-to if you know what i mean and then these two are kind of misses i wouldn't really recommend these two this is the zao as an essence of nature foundation this is a little compact and it's just a bit gritty it's like a cream compact which i'm not a huge fan of this kind of foundation anyway but it's just not amazing coverage is quite actually the coverage is okay um if you like cream foundation maybe you'll like this if you want something if you've got dry skin and you want something for touch-ups in your bag maybe you'll like this i love this brand um and i love their packaging if you don't know much about them their main 
sort of ethos is being eco-friendly in terms of the packaging that they use it's all bamboo and it's also refillable so you can just tap out the pan and then replace it once you finish with it which is amazing but yeah their foundation is probably the least favorite product my least favorite product that i've tried from them so far it's just in for it's just quite gritty a little bit greasy and not my fave and then the other one i'd probably avoid this is the antonym skin esteem foundation now when i first tried this i used to really like it which is weird obviously now i've used it quite a lot as you can see it's got one of those little pumps that goes up like that it did start like here so you don't get all of this filled it starts like here um, and then goes up as you like pump it. You know how these things work. I don't need to explain it to you But the reason why I've kind of changed my mind on this is because maybe my skin type has changed Maybe it's got more sort of dry and dehydrated, but because this is a, a whipped formula So it's a very lightweight whipped You know like moussey kind of foundations that we used to have back in the day that this reminds me of that and as we all know we, We're past it. We're over that. We don't we don't vibe with that anymore um and although I actually do like the velvety kind of look that it gives in terms of it doesn't look too matte but it doesn't look shiny or dewy or anything, it gives a nice sort of natural velvet matte kind of finish. It oxidises, I don't know if you'll be able to see on my hand but it definitely, it just goes a weird kind of pinky orange shade. And again maybe it's because this one's a little bit old now but I think maybe my taste in foundations just got a little bit better possibly and you probably can't even tell on camera but it definitely oxidizes it's not really too buildable as well the coverage is nice and i i do like it i don't hate it but i just i wouldn't recommend it for anyone who has any texture or dryness to their skin because i just have a feeling this is this will really cling to it uh if you've got completely normal skin maybe this will work for you but again bear in mind that i've got mine in the shade beige light and it looks like a really nice sort of neutral fair shade but it oxidizes so yeah, maybe avoid those last two, but um, everything else I love. And my main three faves are these ones. So if you, I recommend all of these, but it depends on what you're going for. So maybe if you're oily skinned, go for the Nui one because it sets. If you want something that's really hydrating, I recommend the Perez one. And less is more with this because it is so full coverage, you can shear it out. Don't put too much on because then it will look really, really dewy. A bit kind of, not oily, yeah, a little bit oily because it's a thicker formula you just don't need that much so maybe like start small and build up with this one but if you've got drier skin or dehydrated skin I recommend that one and then if you want something that's nice and light coverage I do recommend the Santegrity one and can I just say that I'm really not I don't vibe with like, you know like the Glossier skin tint I don't think those kind of products really do anything I don't get the point in them because they're so light coverage you might as well just not bother and you might as well use something that's actually got nourishing ingredients in that's got SPF in and it has a bit of a purpose to it so yeah I definitely recommend these three and yeah that's pretty much it i think that's the end of this video i really hope that was useful and if it was maybe give this video a thumbs up and let me know your favorite green beauty foundation because i'm always i love testing new foundations it's definitely an investment with green beauty so that's why i like doing these kind of videos because i don't want people to waste their money on stuff that they're just not really gonna vibe with um but yeah let me know what you've been loving in the green beauty world and maybe subscribe if you want to see some more from me and then hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys Oh, 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 oh,